do you know you got that same power? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to one of the most exciting gospel shows that speaks to your life. Of course, it's the Songbook of Gospel, live out of Studio 236. I'm Simone Malone. You ready? You'll feel good, man. Thank you. Thank you for many of you who click on and listen on a daily basis. For those of you that can see the video on, of course, Facebook and my Instagram and also on LinkedIn and my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to a gospel show that speaks to the lives of people. And not only that, it changes the lives of people. And I thank you so much on a daily basis for following me. What I ask you guys to do is definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel and there you can go back and watch hundreds of inspirational moments that will bless you and speak to your life. It's Trusted Voice and Radio. It's all one word, folks, low case letters, and you'll find me right there and you can go back and watch hundreds of inspirational moments and, of course, exclusive interviews. If you're ever interested in being here at the home of our radio station for what we do, I can share all the details about how we can promote what you do nationally for commercial, promo, and all those great things, even live remotes for graduations and parties. Uh, you can give me a call at 215-224-4297 or email me at feelgoodmannumber1 at yahoo.com. For those of you that can see the video, you'll see that scroll across there. That's 215-224-4297. Or email me at feelgoodmannumber1 at yahoo.com. Well, I want to get right into this word. I, I've been very anxious to deliver this word. Uh, for those of you that are watching me on the video, you can see Simone Malone in my robe that I wore 23 years ago. I am a proud graduate of Shaw University, the Bears from the class of 1995 in May. I remember when I walked across the stage, my family was down there and uh, I was very, very excited for that moment in my life because I was the first college graduate to receive a bachelor's degree from my family of six people. So I kind of set the tone. I set the, the, the presence for the Malone family and of course for all of my cousins and nieces uh, to follow behind me that were looking towards going to college. College, and um, I let them know that they can do it. And I did it certainly. And I just want to share before I get into the word of the Lord, because we overcome through our testimony. And many of you know uh, that are watching this, that God has brought you through some things. And this show is dedicated to the graduating class of 2018. Now, when I went to Shaw back in 1990 and 1991, uh, thanks to my dear friend, Dr. Mark uh, Sanders Hubert, who is now a lawyer and PhD that encouraged me to attend Shaw University. Uh, my freshman year there um, was a very challenging year for me because I wasn't able to afford any books at the time. I, my college loans didn't seem to go through like they should. I went actually almost three years without books, but mastered my classes because of the memory that I had. And I knew that professors would teach and they would lecture and, and they would they would basically um, test you from the notes. And uh, back at that time, you know, and it's important to have the books. And I got some books uh, probably like my junior year at that time. I said, I can glide through and make it through this because God kind of gave me the ability uh, prior to going to, to Shaw University. I, I was already working in broadcasting. Uh, coming out of college uh, from William Penn High School back in 1987 and 88. Thank God for William Penn Communications Magnet Program. I salute those graduates as well uh, that went to William Penn. But, you know, I, I persevered and I, I believe in three P's and I'm going to talk about that. Taking pride, persevering and being persistent. I went almost three years, folks, without having books and still mastered my classes, still graduated uh, with outstanding grades. And I want you to know that you can do it because the winner is definitely in you. So I thank God for my education at Shaw University. And I kept this road. Yeah, I kept this road. My God, I kept it. Doesn't it look fabulous? I kept this road. It's like brand new. I never brought it out until this time when the Lord spoke to my spirit after all of these years and said, Simone, I want you to put that robe on. I want you to use that as a symbol and a representation for people who have graduated and people who are in the process of gradua graduating that you can do this. You can accomplish this. Wearing this robe is just a sign that you've completed the academics and you successfully got all the credits that you needed to graduate. Now you are charged. You are charged charge like like you're running the race like I played football you're charged to win you're charged to get to the goal and that is to go out there and work and make a living for yourself and help people with that intelligence and all that knowledge that you have to be a better stronger and more cooperative individual in society so I salute all the graduates for the class of 2018 thank you Shaw you for believing in me that's right I'll be back down there to lecture to the students and thank God for you guys looking at me as a leader for what I do 
Now I want to get right into this word. I feel this word in a mighty way. The subject matter, and it's going to scroll across the screen. And for those of you that are listening, I want you to listen very attentively to this word. And I want you to share this moment with somebody because I know it's going to bless them today. God has deposited this into my spirit. He's downloaded this message to me. And I know it's going to bless the graduating class of 2018. We got the high school students that are soon graduating. But I just want to speak. I want to speak. I want to speak to the graduates, the class of 2018, uh, to those who have received their degrees and in the process of getting at. The subject matter is the choice. The choice is yours. The graduation. Oh, how I remember. How I remember. Yeah, May 1995. I want you to go into the book of Philippians chapter 1 and I want you to read 1 through 11. That's Philippians number 1. 1 through 11. But I want to focus on Philippians number 110. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, Bible believers and those graduates that are saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. You know that only God got you through this. Approve the things that are excellent that you may be sincere and without offense. That's Philippians 110. Go there and read it. It might be a little different in certain Bibles, but I'm reading out of the King James Version. Philippians 1.10 says, once again, approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense. Can I read that scripture one more time? Somebody needs to hear that. Approve the things that are excellent. You are excellent that you may be sincere and without offense. This is a very special time for many who are graduating from college this year. You truly deserve this praise for your outstanding accomplishments. If you receive your degree, that's an outstanding accomplishment. I am sure you can say as a graduate of the class of 2018, you have shifted your insights from near to far for the goals in your life and you would like to accomplish even more as you now receive that degree. Whether it's an associate's, bachelor's, master's, or doctorate degree, you truly Truly earned it and you dedicated yourself. You took pride. Uh, you persevered and you were persistent through this entire process. I know it wasn't easy. I know it wasn't easy. I know it wasn't easy. Of course, having the finances and having the support from your family and friends, it's not easy. And staying up late at night studying to get that passing grade. The lessons you learned from your failures were lessons to help you get to this point in your life. You made it to this point and you ought to give God the praise and the glory. You were wise enough to heed them. Life is not made by the dreams that that you dream, but by the choices that you make. Once again, life is not made, hear me out, by the dreams that you dream. Nothing wrong with dreaming, but it's by the choices that you make. And today, you made the right choice to become a college or university graduate. And of course, we salute you here at Digital One at Film. The Radio Feel Good Man salutes you. That's why I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this as a sign because I join you in the celebration today. Your life today is a sum of total of all the choices you made up to this point. And some of you know you had some tough choices to make. Some of you probably dropped out. Some of you probably said, look, I got to get back in school. And you got back. It might have taken you 5, 10, or 15 years, but you got to that point. And I'm saluting some of those graduates who are 75 and 80 years old because I know one that's celebrating on Friday, 75 years old. And he walked down. He walked down the aisle and got his degree. That's right. So your life today is a sum of total choices that you made to this point. The Apostle Paul, here it is in the Word, gave a simple advice in the Philippians 1.10 and he said to approve these things that are excellent. That's verse 110. In any given situation, you have a whole continuum of choices, but you decided to make this choice, ranging from some real rotten choices that you did, the mediocrity of average choices to choices that are good, and then to those that are excellent. Today is an excellent choice, right? Say amen right there. Uh, this choice to become a graduate of the class of 2018 and get the degree was definitely an excellent choice because you made it through the trials and the tribulations when people push you to the side and say, no, 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 you're not going to get that degree, sister or brother. You're not going to get that, but you're wearing it today. Day. This is the choice to become the graduate of the class of 2018 and God wants you to know that he is by your side and God wants you to move across the continuum past your natural impulses all the way to excellent choices. That's right. Often it's challenging to make the most ch excellent choices in life even when things come in the way and I'm joining you today to let you know that you can definitely make it. Sometimes it may feel as if your desires and your freedom have been suppressed but if you follow Paul's advice you'll notice some of the positive outcomes like being pure and blameless and fruitful. Verse 11 tells you that. Make the choice to make a difference in your community now and live a life filled with joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. That's Galatians 5, 22 through 
2023. Remember, you made an excellent choice to become a college graduate. And now you have to watch the ripple effect. Watch the ripple effect of blessings come your way. You have to apply what you have learned educationally from those professors uh -huh, for you to get that degree that you got. Whether it's the associate's bachelor's or master's or doctorate. You've earned it. You've earned it. You worked hard. You stayed up late at night. Uh, you put some things to the side because you dedicated yourself to this thing. The choice is yours. Uh, the graduation. It has happened for you and some of you know you're excited about this and you ought to be excited about it because I'm excited for you for what God has done. I look at myself for what God has done for me. That's right. I thank God every single day and I want to encourage the graduating class of 2018. You made it. You made it. You made it to this point but listen, it's not over. It's not over. You look at that degree. I look at my degree every day. It's in my bedroom in a nice gold frame that I purchased. I look at that thing every day and say that the road in front of me is shorter than the road in back of me but you got to make the best. Thank your father of your life every day. Now, now you are charged that you got the papers. You got the papers. Now, the question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to help somebody else develop into the person that they truly admire? Are you going to go out there into your community and begin to educate and inspire and encourage people to let them know that they can snatch victory? Thank your father from any of their defeats. And some of you know you ought to be excited. The choice, the choice. You made this choice. And it was an excellent choice. That's why it might have taken you a long time. And you wanted to give up sometimes. And you cried. And you said, Lord, help me, help me get through this uh, because you put this in my brains and you gave me this ability you gave me this talent and I want to make a difference in society I want to make a difference in the world and you decided to do this the choice the choice is yours the choice is yours and I remember the choice that I made back in 1991 and I was determined to get through that's right I put myself through college I'm the one that signed those papers and some of you know you didn't have the financial support and you signed those papers away to those college loans knowing that you know you're hoping that you're going to get through and that they will approve you for the Stafford loan and other loans that you've got Mm -hmm. Some of you know that you've given up on some things so that you can go to college for yourself to be an example for your family. The choice, the choice is yours. Thank your father. And you made a great choice today. And I'm going to pray for you that God is going to open up doors now because the choice is yours. It's the graduation. And you ought to be excited about this moment in your life. I'm excited for you. I'm shaking your hand, my brother. I'm hugging you, my sister, because you made it to this point. And I know as a living testimony that you can do it. You can do it and you've done it. And you deserve this. You deserve the praise you deserve it that's right you deserve it you sat up all night uh, oh my god sometimes you needed some help in your studies and you got the choice to make it but you decided to do it and that what you made was the choice was excellent and it is the graduation for the class of 2018 of course there you have it there you have it the choice is yours the graduation you got to read philippians 1 10 it says approve the things that are excellent that you may be sincere and without offense read philippians 1 through 11 because you made a great choice today and even some of you that are continuing your education and you're trying to get there so you can get that degree i want you to know the choice is yours you decided you sat down and you wrote it you wrote it out and you said i'm going to do this thing and you got to put in front of you what inspires you every day because you can make it i know from my own personal experience of doing what i've been doing for 30 years in radio graduated with school with great degrees and honors and i thank god for that and many certificates of of appreciation you can do this thing the choice the choice is yours the graduation let's touch and agree father god i thank you for the graduating class of 2018, God, for those that are watching this moment, God, those recent graduates, God, and some of them in the process of graduating, I thank you, God, for bringing them to this point. This is a great accomplishment for them, God. But Lord, I ask you to speak to their heart as they walk across the stage and they receive that degree. I ask you, God, to challenge them to be stronger, better, God, in society, to do the kind of things that they've learned to help somebody else, God, to let other people know. Let them be that voice in their community. Let them be their the voice in that new job, God. Give them a great opportunity so they can make a difference because that's what it's all about, all about God. God, it's our responsibility that we take care of ourselves and we take care of our family. And I thank you, God, for allowing them to get to this point through stumbling blocks and setbacks and trials and tribulations. Some people have been sick, God, but they got their degree and I thank you for it, God, that you've helped them to get to the finish line. And I ask you, Father, as people watch this moment and they hear my voice across this country, speak to that recent graduate, God. Give them the finances that they need to even pay back those loans. God. Oh, God, I ask you to help them, God, to not go into debt. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, because the choice they made, God, was a great choice. And now it's the graduation. God, help them to celebrate, God. Help them to surround themselves, God, with people who have been successful, God, so they can look at them and want to follow behind them. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, speak to that graduate right now, God. Even, God, they feel that they're not going to be successful after getting the degree. God, open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ, because I know that you will open up a door that no man shall close, God. Put 
them in that business, God. Put them in that house, God. Put them in that car, God. Put them in that marriage, God, that they want to be in. God, they made it to this point and their representation of their community and their situation, God. And I thank you right now that they made the right choice and it is the graduation, God. But Lord, I ask you to speak, 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 speak to their heart, God. Because God, they may have worn the robe, but they got to take the robe off, God, like I kept it for 23 years. God, we know that one day we're going to get the robe, the crown, the crown that you're going to give us. We're going to wear the robe of glory. And we thank you, God, that you helped our people to get to this point, God. Bless them and keep the graduating class of 2018, God. Let this be the best day of their life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Oh, my God, I feel the Holy Spirit. I'm about to jump out of this robe. My God, I thank God for bringing you to this point in your life and for what he has done for me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The choice, the choice, the choice is yours. The graduation is here. It's here. You ought to celebrate. Put on your iron shoes and put on your dancing shoes. You're about to walk into a great opportunity and you better believe it. I feel it in my spirit. Some of you are going to walk into a great opportunity. You're going to walk into a six-figure job. You better believe it and receive it. You're going to walk into a job that's going to give you the great benefits of your life. In Jesus' name, my God from Zion. Let me get off of this. Let me get off of this. Oh, my God. It has not been easy. It has not been easy for some of you that are watching this. You struggled, my God. You borrowed from here and there. Oh, God. But you made it to this point. And I'm celebrating you today. The choice. The choice. The choice is yours. The graduation. We love you. We honor you. We support you because you made the right choice. And it's yours. Celebrate it today.